Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a very special video. We are going to be trying out some product. Um, the fine people at Hippie Crafter contacted me and asked if I would be interested in trying out their paint. And obviously I said, absolutely. So they sent me a 20 bottle set of some really, really nice colors. You can see them there. And I will turn this around. You can pause the video later if you want to um, take a look at all the colors that are in here. But these are some really nice, thick, creamy colors. Um, I was really, really impressed with the quality. They're highly pigmented and uh, we're gonna try them out. We're gonna see what happens. They also sent me some resin. So when the piece that we're gonna do today is cured, I will throw some resin on it and show you the finished results. Um, I can't wait to do this, I'm so excited. They also sent um, an instruction, little manual here on how to use the epoxy if you've never resined before. So yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get going. So we are gonna be working on a 12 by 24 deep edge canvas. This is an Artist Loft canvas from Michaels, one that I got on one of their many amazing sales. Buy one, get two free, I think it is. Um, but yeah, I love to stock up on my canvases when they have that sale. So I've got my canvas, I've got it taped off on the back. I've got my push pins in and uh, I'll be back here in just a minute. I'm gonna paint the edges real quick uh, and then we'll get going. Guys, let's go through our colors really quick here. This is a really, really dark violet. It's very similar to dioxazine purple or violet um, and it is called violet. We have got lemon yellow. This is called Pale Green. I'm putting these back in the box as I uh, show them to you. This I think is Scarlet. Very, very pretty. This reminds me of a Pyrrole Red. Very nice color. Um, rose. Orange, yellow. Cobalt blue. This is a uh, black, um, now I can't think of the word, flow extender that I made with Mars Black. And I'm using their titanium white, and I added some white satin enamel to it as well. Now these two last colors, um, I wanted, the set that they sent me doesn't have any metallics in it, so I wanted a couple of metallics. One of them uh, is purple, and I made this with uh, DecoArt Sterling Silver, Deep Sapphire, and some Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red to get that purple. And then we have um, Soho Gold. So those are the colors we're gonna be using. Let's get the canvas up here. Here's how I mixed my paints today. I put the uh, paint in a cup. I gave it a good squirt of Golden GAC 800, mixed it in with the paint, and then my pouring medium was actually a 50-50 mixture of Liquitex pouring medium and Floetrol. And I used about two parts medium to one part of paint and then added just a little bit of water uh, to thin it down just a tad. Now this is gonna be a traveling ring pour, so I wanted my consistency really thick. I generally use three parts medium, uh, but this time I just did two, and like I said, added a little bit of water.
So here are the dried and resin results. And I am so glad I added that last cup on top. It really gave it some dimension and depth. I love putting rings on top of rings. The effect is just always so cool. So one thing that I learned with this resin is uh, when I was peeling up the leftovers off my silicone mat, um, it's not bendy or flexible at all. It dries really, really hard. Um, so you're gonna get a, a very strong, crystal clear um, finish to your piece, which I was really, really impressed with. And uh, I can't wait to use it again in the future. I wanna send a huge, huge thank you out to the folks at Hippie Crafters for allowing me to try out their product. It is fabulous. There will be a link in my description if you wanna try it out. Um, thank you guys, you rock. In the meantime, hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon.